Hi, this video tutorial I will cover Java Inheritance ECA relationship. ECA is a way of saying this object is a type of uh, that object. Here you can see animal interface. Mammal implements animal. So mammal is animal. Parrot implements animal. So parrot is animal. Dove implements uh, animal. So dove is animal. And uh, dog extends mammal. So dog is a mammal and also dog is a an animal. Elephant uh, extends mammal. So elephant is a mammal and also elephant is a an animal. Tiger extends mammal. So tiger is a mammal and also tiger is a an animal. In Java, we can define the ECA relationship like uh, here. Interface animal and uh, class mammal implements animal and class dog extends mammal class elephant extends mammal, tiger extends mammal, parrot implements animal, dove implements uh, animal. Some animals are mammals. We are mammals. Mammals are warm-blooded animals that give live birth and feed their young their own milk. Some animals are different like birds, bug and reptiles. They don't give live birth and they don't feed their young their own milk. Here you can see animal interface. Animal interface is implemented by mammal, parrot and dove classes. So mammal is animal, parrot is animal and dove is animal. Dog, elephant and tiger classes uh, extends mammal. So dog is a mammal, elephant is a mammal and tiger is a mammal. Also dog is an animal, elephant is an animal and tiger is an animal because uh, mammal implements uh, animal interface. Now we will see the sample code. To explain uh, ECA relationship, I have created this sample program. First I will run this program, then I will explain. This is the output of uh, this sample program. Here I have defined the interface uh, animal. This is the super interface. And uh, class mammal implements uh, animal interface. So mammal is a subclass of uh, animal interface and uh, class dog extends mammal so dog is a subclass of mammal class and also subclass of uh, animal interface and uh, class elephant extends mammal so elephant is a subclass of uh, mammal class and also subclass of uh, animal interface and uh, class tiger extends mammal so tiger is a subclass of mammal class and uh, subclass of uh, animal interface and class parrot uh, implements animal. So parrot is a subclass of uh, animal interface. And class dove implements animal. So dove is a subclass of uh, animal interface. Class animal demo has main method. Inside main method, I am creating mammal object, dog object, elephant object and tiger object. Then I am checking mammal is an animal using uh, instance of operator and uh, here you can see the output mammal is animal true this uh, mammal instance of animal returns true meaning mammal is animal like that I am checking uh, dog is a mammal and uh, dog is a animal and uh, here you can see the output dog is a mammal true dog is animal true and uh, like that I am checking uh, elephant is a mammal and elephant is animal and uh, here you can see the output elephant is a mammal true elephant is animal true and uh, like that I am checking uh, tiger is a mammal and uh, tiger is a animal and uh, here you can see the output tiger is a mammal true and uh, tiger is animal true then I am creating a uh, parrot object and uh, dove object then I am checking uh, parrot is animal and uh, dove is a animal. And uh, here you can see the output parrot is animal true and uh, dove is animal true. Using inheritance, one object can acquire all properties and behaviors of another object. And when we talk about inheritance, most commonly used keywords are extents and implements. Using these keywords, we can make one object acquire all the properties and behaviors of another object. 
using instance of operator we can assure mammal is actually an animal and uh, this is about uh, java inheritance ca relationship and uh, thanks for watching